Are you white? Well, I've got some bad news. The article says that grime artist Stormzy has pledged to support an additional 36 black students studying at Cambridge University over the next three years. Essentially, he's paying the £20,000 tuition fee for people based on race. And I never went to university, and you might not have either, but maybe. Just maybe if our skin was a different colour, then Stormzy might have paid the bill. It says by 2026, a total of 81 students will have received these scholarships. But it's not just random rappers getting in on the racism. Oh no, it's the big banks too. It says that HSBC has pledged £2 million to support an additional 30 Stormzy scholarships over the next three years. And remember, that is £2 million of your customer money, all spent on pushing the UK down a very strange path. Because this isn't about equal rights, and you can see that by the application criteria. It says to be eligible for a Stormzy scholarship, applicants must have one of the following categories of ethnicity. You gotta be black African, Caribbean or other, or you could be a mix of white and black Caribbean or African, or they're flexible enough to let you have another mixed background, but they recommend that it include African, Caribbean or other. Correct me if I'm wrong, but back in the day, nobody cared about none of this. But it got me thinking. How is it that Stormzy can just get away with doing things like this? And my guess, it's his money, so it's his choice. And I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think this would be allowed on a job description. Not that you'd want to apply anyway. But let me know in the comments. Will you be attending the Stormzy University? And more importantly, would you even pass the application process? So thank you for subscribing, thank you to the channel members, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.